Carla, we're here in Toronto. Yeah. You're out here homeless. Yes. Tell me about it. Um, I've been out here for four and a half years now. Um, I got um, taken to Elizabeth Fry after being arrested. And because uh, that didn't work out for me, um, they kind of set me up. The treatment center I was supposed to go to at the last minute canceled on me because they didn't know I was on Suboxone apparently. And you weren't allowed to be on Suboxone. And I couldn't stay at Elizabeth Fry anymore. And those were my conditions to either be at Elizabeth Fry or treatment. So I got kind of screwed over there and uh, became homeless on the streets. I didn't know anybody when I got here. I'm from Holland Landing originally, which is a small little town. So this to me was a big shock down here. Um, I used to smoke crack and I quit a year and a half ago. But that was a big shock, uh, my first trap experience. There was like 30 people in a room when I went in one day because I was raining. I broke in the doors with a car and there was 30 people in there trying to sell me crack. Everybody's trying to convince me that they had the best kind. And um, I quit because I started doing fentanyl, which is even worse. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, because yeah, uh, you can't have both because fentanyl is more important. Yeah. But um, I was doing like 10 points of that a day and I'm down to uh, half a point. Um, I did try methadone for a period of time. I quit for three and a half months, but at Christmas and New Year's I didn't realize they were only open for an hour. I missed that twice and I wanted to kill myself. It was the worst, uh, worst um, experience of not having something. Worst withdrawal than from any drug you could ever have. Eat any kind of heroin or fentanyl. The methanol was the worst. Mm -hmm. I will never ever go past 60 mils again. So you're trying to wean yourself off? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm still doing methadone, but never more than 60 mils. Right. I was at 120 when that happened. It was horrible. So you're doing the methadone clinic? Yeah. Um, the True North Methadone. Okay. You can do that without ID. People don't understand how, two things, how hard it is to stay sober out here. It's very hard. I Very. mean, I, homelessness sucks. I, I, I was just helping you with your bags. You're trying to balance here. It's, yeah, they fell all over. It's freezing, and you're and you're sleeping outside. All the shelters are full. Yep. Yeah. Uh, even the rest beds are full. The drop-ins are full. Um, if you get into a drop-in, you're standing up all night. Um, it's horrible. It's horrible. So it took heroin me. helps take all the pain away. Yeah, and you can fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. And, and people don't understand that. And then once you're on heroin, yeah. you get, you can't stop. No, because you're sick and your whole body hurts so bad you can't move without it. Right, it's like the worst flu times a thousand yeah. that anybody's ever experienced. And the only way to get better is to fix. And wing yourself off though. That's the only way because you can't just stop. Just, right. It doesn't you, work like that. So um, huge props to you. Thank you. For trying to get off mm -hmm. and doing it while you're living out here. I I'm, mean, I'm going to. I'm determined. I'll come and talk to you again when I do. Good. Good. That would be great. I just want to say one more thing. My first year here, I spent the whole year in, all um, well, the winter in the porta potty. Um, the only way to keep warm, other than if you're not on one of those heat vents, is get water from Tim Hortons, the hot tea water, yeah. and water bottles, and fill them up and put them in your sleeping bag or your bed or in your pants and your shirt. Oh my gosh. That keeps you warm. And then you slept in porta potties. Yes, because no one to can say what, no one can steal your stuff. <laughs> oh my God! That's the only way. There's no way to live. Otherwise, your stuff's getting stolen. Someone's gonna come check it for sure. Well, that's what somebody said to me last night. I said, "Why don't you go into a shelter?" And they said, "Well, I like my stuff. Yeah. Because I go into a shelter, Same I'm gonna lose shelter. everything, and they don't allow everything to go in." Yep. Same thing. So, what's your future like? Well, I'm gonna quit doing drugs and uh, get a place. Um, I'm working towards that now, getting a place is my main goal. Um, and quitting, and then getting my kids back. Awesome. Well, not getting them back, seeing them, because they can't really see me like this. Yeah. I have 24 years sober. I was not here, but I was outside in the States, so you can do it. I've done it for two and a half years, I got clean and sober, but that was only on crack. But I know I can do it again. Yeah, you definitely can. Mm -hmm. You definitely can. What would you want people to know about homelessness that they probably don't know? They should try it one time and then maybe they'll understand. Stay outside in the cold one night. Very in, cold. In the Toronto cold. In Toronto, yes. Yeah. That's me in Toronto. It's not, <laughs> not, not, not the same a Florida else. cold, the Toronto cold. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And mm -hmm. how do you stay positive? I mean, where are you sleeping tonight? Uh, outside. Um, sometimes they break into buildings with cards if you can get in if there's not security and go in the stairwell until you get caught. Yeah. yeah. Well, you do whatever you can to stay warm. Or beg for change so you can go into McDonald's or, or um, Tim Hortons. They're the only two things open. There's only four of them, I think, around here. 
and are open and um, you have to beg for change for that and sometimes they only give you 20 minutes. Sometimes security is really retarded and if you're in the bathroom longer than five minutes, they'll call the cops on you. <laughs> and then, but the cops can't do anything. There's no place the to take you. Take you to the hospital and then they let you go. Well, people are freezing outside. Yeah. Yeah. How do you keep a smile? I mean, you're in good spirits and you're going to be... I have some money. I, I paid some money, so I'm good. So for you the got night. For the night. That's why I'm happy. That's why you're happy. So you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. A day at a time. And after me. Day <laughs> at a time. Yeah. If you had three wishes, what would they be? A place, my kids, my family. Great wishes. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you.